MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Many thanks for your time, Sayyid Jalal. Uh, such an amazing voice. Uh, we really appreciate it, inshallah, for the viewers. Um, you'll be seeing or you'll be hearing more from Sayyid Jalal uh, in the remaining episodes. Um, as of today, inshallah, we are commemorating the martyrdom of the pillar of patience, um, Sayyidah Zainab alayhi uh, salam, and to really shed light on some of the supplications, some of the, um, the du'as, some of the ziyaras. Uh, associated with the Ahlul Bayt Alayhi Wasallam, we're joined by Ibrahim uh, Al Ansari. Ibrahim, Salam Alaikum. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, how about yourselves? Good, thank you. Welcome to, Alhamdulillah. to the morning. Um, Alhamdulillah. Thank you. And inshallah, today you're going to be, as Ali said, that we're just been going through the martyrdom of Sayyidah Zainab. So, have you got a ziyara? What have you got? Yeah, I've got, uh, I actually have an extract from the ziyara of Sayyidah Zainab. However, first we send our condolences to the Imam for our time and to the whole Islamic nation on the martyrdom of this great noble lady. Mm. So, <clears throat> in fact, I do have an extract from the ziyara, and the ziyara of Sayyidah Zainab is very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. I think possibly the only ziyara that gives detail yes. about tragedies yeah. that one has gotten through. Yeah. Even Sayyidah Zahra, alayhi of the salatu wasalam, in her ziyara, no matter how amazing, her, how great her tragedies were, mm. it doesn't go into such details. It goes into even into details of the beheading of her brother. Mashallah. Details of how she was led out of Karbala mm. to wander in the streets. Mm. This specific extract that I chose, in fact, shows the love that she had for her brother Imam Hussein. And also the major role she played in Karbala, which was to save the religion of La ilaha illallah. So in the ziyara it says, As-salamu alayki ya aman zaharat mahabbatuha lil Hussein al-mazloom fi mawarid adid wa tahmilu al-masaib al-muhriq lil-qulub مع تحملات شديدة السلام عليك يا من حفظت الإمام في يوم عاشورا في القتلى وبذلت نفسها في نجاة زين العابدين في مجلس أشق الأشقياء ونطقت بنطق علي عليه السلام في سكك الكوفة وحولها كثير من الأعداء اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد And this is only a small part of the ziyara Where the ziyara starts by saying Peace be upon you who showed her love mm. for her brother Imam Hussein in many occasions. Yeah. And one, one image that strikes me every time I read this line is one place where she didn't just show her love to Imam Hussein. She showed the love of his mother Fatima. Mm. When he was on his horse ready to go into the battle, she called him back. And she said to him, Brother Hussein, let me see your chest. She kissed him and she smelt his neck. And then she turned around to Medina and she said mm. to her mother, Oh, Fatima, this is your will. Yeah. I have completed your will. That is one place in which she showed her love and the love of her mother. And then it carries on to say, And she suffered heartbreaking tragedies. Those that burn the hearts, mm. and that is why she's called Ummul Masaib, from her grandfather Rasulullah, to seeing her mother between the wall and the door, to seeing her mother slapped, to witness her father being struck on the head, to the poisoning of her brother Imam Hassan. To the beheading of her beloved brother Imam Hussein, to losing the hands of Al Abbas, her sons, and of course, not to forget how she was taken on the streets of Kufa and Sham. In terms of the actual ziyarah itself, um, 
as we've, we've mentioned in previous um, conversations in terms of um, specific ziyaras, um, the author is mostly Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, right? Or in, like for example, Ziyat al Hussain alayhi salam, it was the, the person who compiled it or who, who, who wrote it was Imam Sadiq. Yeah, in uh, Ziyarat uh, Ashura. Uh, no, Ziyarat Ashura is Imam al Baqir. Imam al Baqir, that's right. And Ziyarat Warith is Imam al Sadiq. But in terms of sort of like the, the linguistic style, you're saying that you can recognize the writings of Imams. What would you say, just a, a guess, that it's. Of course, in terms of the language used, um, there are people whose profession is to look into the language used mm. to see um, the specific types of links used. Mm. Uh, inshallah, one day we can study and reach such a level, yeah. um, not something um, I am capable of mm. doing right now. So I'd, I'd rather um, you know, not to answer that yeah. question, yeah. that's fine. I, w I wanted to actually <coughs> kind of ask, mm. ask the both of you in terms of the, the, the history of Islam. Um, obviously has many sources to piece together the history. So historians, mm. chain of narrators, and so on and so forth. Can we actually use ziyara as a form of understanding what happened in history? Because this goes Definitely. into, um, this, this ziyara goes into a lot of detail. Like yeah. for example, um, there's names. Um, mm. There are names mentioned. There's, there's things that actually happened to Hussein yeah. al-Madhulum. And I'm sure within the ziyarah itself, there's there's places that she's been to, that actually mentions as well. So yeah. actual uh, places that that she had to visit. That's why so I said in this ziyarah, you have full details of the role of Sayyidah Zainab on yeah. the day of Ashura. Yeah. It mentions how she struck her head when she saw her brother Hussein mm. lying on the floor. Okay. It mentions, and and do you know another ziyarah that is exactly like this, and where you can definitely take history from as well. Is Ziyarat al Nahi al Muqaddas. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. In the yeah. previous season, remember we spoke about Yeah, yeah, in, yeah in the yeah. season of Muharram and Safar. Mm. Yeah. And Imam al Mahdi, Ajallah Ta'ala Farajah al Sharif, he goes into detail of how Imam mm. Hussein was beheaded. Exactly. And to be honest, I feel the day of Ashura through the Ziyarat. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of the validity of or the authenticity of the Ziyarat, of Ziyarat al Nahi yeah. is, is authentic. Mm. It's authentic, it's, it's valid. It's. Uh, it's by Imam al-Mahdi uh, initially, recited by Imam al-Mahdi. Mm. We have received it from one of his companions. Okay, that makes uh, sense. The exact name is not uh, from the top of my head. I cannot remember him, but it was one of the four that Imam al-Mahdi had as, as his wukala. Mm, mm, mm. One of the four, possibly the third one, mm. um, actually is the narrator of, of, of the ziyarah, ziyarat al nahiyah mm -hmm. from Imam al-Mahdi directly. So because of the language that's used, can we also pose the question that maybe Imam al-Mahdi wrote? Or because maybe? of... Bec just... You see, if we, if we want to look at detail, then we can, we can, we can compare detail. Mm. But there's, there's nothing that actually tells us that no other Imam could have went into detail, just like Imam al-Mahdi did. Mm. Um, so it's, it's actually very hard, very hard to try to specify an imam because um, mm. because he used detail here and, and right. not in, not in yeah. a different place. Yeah. So Imam, is, is, uh, imam al-Baqir, for example, the way he done ziyara, ziyarat Ashura, mm. is very different to the way he did ziyarat al-Zahra. Mm. So for example, in ziyarat Ashura, it's a clear start from saying, Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah, Assalamu alaikum ya Aba Abdullah, and, and direct salams. Mm. Then he goes into tawalli, tabarri, yeah. and, and, mm. and uh, he ends with a sujood. Yeah. So, but when we look at Ziyarat al-Zahra, he starts off by yeah, saying, Ya Mumtahan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after he finishes the imtihan of, of Fatima al-Zahra and making dua that we become of, of her Shia, he moves on to send, her, send his salams yeah. and there is no sujood at the end of the ziyarah. That makes sense. Yeah. So we can't necessarily take yeah. the style of the ziyarah to specify yeah. which think, imam yeah. it is from. And I think in terms of what you were asking before that, you know, the history lessons, I think it's really... It's really crucial, isn't it, that we have, while we're paying our respects, we're also given the opportunity to really relive some of yeah. the, um, you know, commemorate some of the tragedies that befell them because it's almost repeating that histor historical stance and while also paying your respects, isn't it? Whereas we could say, yes, you know, peace be upon you, Lady yeah. of Light, peace be upon you, the one who upheld, yeah. you know, that th this is sort of more beneficial for generations that are coming along that maybe 
aren't so in touch with. It's, al it's also very interesting that mm. in the actual extract that you that you mentioned, yeah, it says um, and sacrificed her soul for the salvation of Zain al-Abidin. Yep. At the gathering of the most wretched one. Yeah. So this is also mm. how it alludes to Sayyidina Zainab. Of course, her position is very high. Yes. But Imama is Imama. Imama is Imama. Yes. And Definitely. you know, she sacrificed her soul not only for Imam Hussein when he was Imam, but also Zain al when he was. That is what mm -hmm. uplifts her status even yeah. higher. Yeah. 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 Because if Imama started from a great lady called Fatima, mm. then Imama was carried on from a great lady called Zainab. Fantastic. Definitely. Fantastic, yeah. I think you, you just, with her personality, um, you know, for her obedience to the Imams of her time, yes, that was her brother, that was her nephew. Yeah. Um, it just shows that, you know, we were speaking in, you know, early one of our sessions when the role of women, you know, it's not easy to accomplish that status in front of God, you know, mm -hmm. it's, and she's showing us that through suffering upon suffering upon suffering, you reach your maqam, you reach your certainty in faith. And, and I think for a non-infallible, yeah. what she did. Yeah. Do you know, there's, I actually, um, earlier today, actually just before I came, I was just scrolling through the life of Sayyidah Zainab uh, to see um, the start of her life and etc. And then there was one of the writers, he comments at the end of what he wrote. And he says, he narrates it from a scholar. He says, you realize the true maqam and the true iman and the status of Sayyidah Zainab when you compare her to Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. So I was a bit confused here. Why? Mm. I've never seen such a comparison before. Then he says, Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh, in the Quran it says that she says, Rabbibni li andaka baytan fi jannah wa najjini min fir'aun wa amal. O Lord. Build for me a house in Jannah and save me from Pharaoh and his works. He says, whereas say the Zainab after seeing the tragedies mm -hmm. that befell on her on Karbala from her brothers, nephews, sons and Imam al Hussein, she says, Allahumma taqabbal hadha al mm -hmm. Oh Allah, accept the sacrifice. Yeah. And never did she say, save me. And he says, by saying, save me from Pharaoh and build a house in heaven, it means she was wishing for death. Mm. Yeah. Because she knew the next life would be greater. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So the Zainab yeah. definitely knows that she would be in the highest place of heaven. Yeah. Yet she says, Allahumma taqabbal hadha al Quran. Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful woman. I just, you know, may our lives be sacrificed for them. They are tremendous role models for us. But is there, we're coming towards the end. Is there anything yeah. you'd like to finish this? Mm -hmm. To be honest, um, th there isn't any specific points except that uh, we must always remember that Sayyidah Zainab, yes, she wasn't an infallible, um, yet she, was, she made herself infallible mm -hmm. to begin with. And secondly, she's a role model to both men and women. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they uh, go on the pulpit, they direct Sayyidah Zainab at solely the hijab of women. Mm. No, she wasn't just hijab of mm. women. She was hijab for women. She was hijab for men. And she was a stance against oppression and injustice. Yep. Any last words? No, no. just, uh, she's a personality that, you know, the more you think about her, the more you just feel like you don't know. And there's just Definitely. so much to learn. Even this short, you know, excerpt, this ziara, you just yeah. think there's so much that you can look into. What did that mean? And what did that mean? Yeah. And, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. We definitely uh, recommend to the viewers um, to actually read the whole ziara. Um, it's a very, very interesting ziara from the sense that it's very, very descriptive of what actually happened to um, Sayyidah Zainab. And yeah. we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you all, the viewers, uh, will be commemorating uh, the martyrdom of, uh, of Sayyidah Zainab salam, within your own majalis. So please do pray for us at the channel as well. Um, after the break, you'll be joined by Zara and um, Barack Hussein on the special segment. So please do join us uh, in a couple of minutes.